So we never did the full job then. Bloody hell, 11.39, Friday the 5th of January 2024 for the 11.41 Hull Trains Paragon service from Hull to London King's Cross. So we've done barriers, we've done wigwags, we haven't done this bastard. It first gained a fault about six years ago. Has anybody actually raised it? No, but would s have picked up on it whilst playing with this equipment? They should have done anyway. That'll be another report going over this afternoon with evidence, because that's how you get it done really quickly. As it was proven. That's what I think coming out as a new alarm at Brayford. I'm going to check that out when I go back this afternoon. I've thrown a provisional train, but it's a provisional train's usually always cancelled. And after this, it's still 20 minutes to the next train anyway, in Buck's timetable. An airplane off Gam. Oh, it is. That must come off of Gamston then. Gamston's a private airport a few miles up the road. That train's left the railway station. I've got a voice note from Ben. Let's have a look at the transcript. Right, he's blocked in by street workers. Of course he is. Don't, I'm certainly never changed for calling services. Wouldn't shy of four minutes now, and it's the only train we're waiting for. Two, three, or five, the Umber Bridge to London King's Cross. Right then, 11.58. This will be 11.57 London, Edinburgh, 11.58 Leeds, London. So we'll go after that. Oh, yeah, mine's, uh, mine's 
in theory we could two by two this because there's up to four expected but it'll be extremely close in between Trains going by. Yeah. Not really. Just the normal stuff. The normal stuff being a light running 91 to start with. pass. Who are we going to see first, the Edinburgh or the London? really close by and I'm going because it's the gay one next and I want to see it properly. Twelve oh two. This will be the twelve oh one LNER Intercity two two five service from London to Leeds, and the twelve oh five service from Newcastle to London Kings Cross. Didn't start from Edinburgh today. No idea why. I'm going to bounce across to its next calling point and try and find out. Doesn't say. So that was essentially a P coded start then, because we don't know why. Time to win. We could raise after this. We've got a few minutes, just about. Because there's this train coming now. The next train's about three minutes behind him in the other direction. This one's for Leeds. Safest bet. So next is that 1205 Newcastle London Kings Cross.
Right, Lumo's over at Carlton, so he'll be maybe 10 minutes after this. Yeah, now five minutes after this, it's gonna be really, really tight now. Because following this from the currently waiting fee, the next one's a 10, 14, 19. That might be another set of three. Or be a set of three, so we haven't actually seen a set of three yet because it was split up. I'm not trying to pass Retford Station anyway, so he's not too far away, minute at most. Hey, one two two six for London Kings Cross. There we go. About three minutes to the next train. Twelve oh eight for the twelve oh seven Lumo service from London Kings Cross to Edinburgh. In theory, that's it. Yeah, because after that, the next train's at Rossington, so obviously we're not going to wait like seven minutes for that to appear, are we? I think I'll take this one and leg it in case my provisional train gets cancelled when I get back to the railway station. So I'll go straight on lunch after this and then get back into town. Because we're a fair few miles out. With them two big bloody bridges, it's a long way back. Greater Anglia has thrown the Emergency Engineering Works card at Stratford Mainline, so that'll be fun for the rest of the day. East Midlands has thrown the buses in this area card, but the incident's in the other area. Basically, there's flooding at Eckington, but they put buses between Grantham and Sleaford, which is nowhere near Eckington. Right, Lumo approaching anyway, I don't think it's a special, it doesn't look like it. So just blue and late as usual, 